Hello everyone. Welcome to part 42 of SQL for beginner series. In this video session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate on how to use update statement and set keyword for updating the table records. So in this video session, I am going to explain how to use update statement along with set the keyword. What is the purpose for updating the table records? For updating the table records. Let's say there is a table like this. Let's say there is a table. It has three columns. It has three columns. So the first column name is like ID. Second column name is name. And third column name is experience. And the table name is the table name is employees table. So under this, under this table, in this table, there are three records. Let's say there are some three records. So the first record has ID as one, second record has ID as two, and third record has ID as three. And here the name is Arun. Here Varun. And here Tarun. And uh, experience is like 12 years, then here some five years, here seven years. Like this, the experience are there. Now, this is a table, guys. This is an existing table, and I want to update. I want to update this particular name from Tarun to some other name. Okay. I want to update the name here from Tarun to some other name like uh, Kiran. Okay. Here in place of Tarun, I want to update the name to Kiran. How to do this? In SQL, for this kind of requirements, we have to use update statements. Okay. When you use update statements, in that we have to use set keyword. In the update SQL statements, you have to use set keyword for updating the, okay, for updating the data, existing data to some other data. Let me practically demonstrate all these things so that it will be more clear for you. So I would like to work on this employees table of QFox database. Now current selection of the database out of all these four databases, world database, but I want to use which database, QFox database. So I will say use QFox and I run this. The QFox database has been selected. Now you can perform operations directly on the employees table, which belongs to the QFox database. Since the QFox database is in selection, you can perform operations on the employees table. Next thing is, next thing is, I'll first find out, I'll first find out what are the records that are already there in this employees table. So let's start from employees table name, that is employees. So this will retrieve all the records that are available currently in the employees table, run this. You see, there are no records. In the previous videos, this records got deleted. In the previous video, I explained about the delete statement where I have deleted all the records. So how to get the records back? Let's do some insert statements. Guys. Let's insert some records here, okay? So let's insert some records. After inserting the records, let's apply the update statement. How to insert the records? Insert into table name. Okay, insert into table name values. First value should be of ID, that is one, let's say. And the second uh, value should be of name, that is Arun. And uh, third value should be of experience, that is 12 years experience, let's say. Done. And uh, run this. Now say select start from employees. We got one record. Similarly, let's add two more records. Insert into employees values, two comma, Varun, and experience is five. Another statement insert into employees values three comma tarun. Okay, three comma tarun comma experiences like seven. Now I would like to run this both statements together. Okay, at a time I am running two statements. So I run it. Two records uh, will be affected. Okay, so now select star from employees. You see, now three records are there in this employees table. Now we have the uh, now we have the table known as employees having some records inside it. Now the requirement is to update this name from Tarun to 
Kiran. So how to do that? We have to use update statement. Okay. Update table name. What is the table name? Employees. Update employees. Set keyword we have to use. We can write in a single statement if you want. Update employees set. What I have to set? What I have to update? I have to update the name here. Okay. The current name is three. Uh, like a uh, uh, current name is Tarun. So name is equal to new name we have to provide the set name is equal to some new name that is instead of tarun i want kiran so i am providing kiran here update employees table set the name to kiran where where id is equal to three so you can move into three lines so that you can understand what exactly this statement means update the employees table okay which column i have to update i have to update the name to kiran okay under name i have to update the name to kiran so for which record for the record having id as three only for the uh, this id is equal to three record only this name should be changed to kiran so when you run this so before i run this uh, statement so we have tarun here but after i run this statement again i select this select star from employees you see tarun got updated to kiran here only one column data i updated but now i would like to update two column data okay I would like to update the ID and name this time. Update employees set. Okay, set ID is equal to four. I would like to update the ID is equal to here. ID is equal to guys. I want to update this ID two to four. That's first thing. Then name to from Varun to from Varun to some other name. I would like to update. Let's say I would like to. Uh, some some different name i will give guys uh, let's say dinesh dinesh name set id is equal to 4 from 2 to 4 i am changing id is equal to 4 and name from varun to dinesh i am changing where experience is equal to 5 like this okay update employees set id is equal to 4 name is equal to dinesh where experience is 5 so which record has the experience as five only the second record right this record so where the experience is five change the id to four these two will be updated to four and name varun will be updated to dinesh run this so here it got updated when you say select star from employees you see here in the second record id two got updated to four and uh, name varun got updated to dinesh okay so like this guys like this you can either set or update single column value or multiple column values okay single column value got updated here from tarun to kiran we updated only single column data got updated now here all the uh, that is two column data that is four and uh, name okay this id and name got updated here so if you have multiple columns to be updated you have to provide set column one is equal to some value with that is a new value comma column two is equal to some other new value like this multiple columns if you want to update another column you have to provide again comma like that okay like this single column you can update or multiple column values also you can update now what if i say update employees okay update employees set name is equal to arun okay update employees set name is equal to arun that's it guys i am not providing the where class condition what will happen will this run or not update employees set name to arun what will happen here i am not specifying a particular uh, record okay if i say where experience is equal to 5 only this particular record will be high because experience 5 is only for the one record but here id is equal to 3 id is equal to 3 is only for the one record but when i say update employees set name is equal to arun i am not specifying the where class condition that means it is applied for it will be applied for if i run this particular statement it will be applied for all the statement all the all the rows here there are three records first record second record third record first record has arun let's give some other name guys okay akilesh let's give akilesh update employee set name akilesh so here first record has a name as arun second record has a name as dinesh third record has a name as kiran after run this statement okay if i if i run this select star from employees 
you see all the three records will have the name as arun now okay sorry aklesh now we uh, update employee set name is equal new name is to aklesh so all the record names got updated to aklesh if you don't provide the where class condition what will happen all the records will be affected okay update employee set name is equal to if there are 100 records all the 100 record names will be changed to aklesh here okay like that guys so if you provide the where class condition only for that particular set of uh, condition satisfied filtered records will be updated with that particular data but if you don't specify the where class condition then all the records will be updated with the new details so guys this is how we have to use update statement and set keyword for updating the table records so that's it guys see you in the next video session thank you bye